it sooner than me. Can you imagine it? It makes me sick just thinking about it. Really? I'm quite looking forward to exams. Not standard grades. They sound a bit dull. I want to do hires and advanced hires. You're mental. How can you afford to do exams? I'm not that mental. You like CSI as much as I do. How can we become forensic investigators without studying science and going to university? How can we fully understand the criminal mind without studying philosophy and literature? Becky, you're scaring me. Just click CSI to see if you know what grew up to be some horrible police person studying dead bodies the rest of my life. What about an actress? What's the movies like CSI? Hmm, I never knew that. I think you'd be quite good, you know. You have to be really good to get on television, though. Can you cry? What, just like that? Yeah, see those fourth years. Pip, um, Pip Glendinning and her pals. See, if you can convince them that you're crying, then I think you're good enough to go on TV. All right, you know. <laughs> What? Get a life, you little weirdo! She was good though, wasn't she? She did feel the lot of you. Yeah, whatever. We've got better things to worry about. What do you think Headmaster wants us for anyway? I don't know. He probably wants to give us one of these wake-up speeches. Is it just me, or is Grandpa Guy the worst Headmaster in the whole entire world? He's the worst, but he's like so bad. Ha! If there were any worse, they'd have to arrest him. Wake up! Wake up! We're very so wake you up! <laughs> yeah, well, what's his problem like? Who knows? Wake up! What a cheek! It's him who puts us to sleep in the first place. Tell you what though, he has got a point. I am going to fail these exams. It's English tomorrow. I can't believe it. Me too, it's a nightmare. If my mum knew that I was going to fail my exams, she would stop my pocket money until old age pension. Both of you, please! Don't even go there! I'm going so fail. I'm, I'll never get to the beauty school. My love is rain, and I haven't even finished school yet. It's not like I can help it. Mum was so ill after Ali was born. I spent half the year looking after both of them. Maybe I should have spent less time. With. It's so noisy in my house. I've been running. We Ali just always wants to play. I'm playing hockey, and football, and rugby. Mum hardly does anything with him. Maybe I should sue the PE department. They could have warned me that physical exercise would impair my educational advancement. Do you think it's possible to have too many boyfriends? Chance to be a fine thing. Except you always get their first dates. <laughs> I just meant, you know, if I had fewer boyfriends, I would have a chance to pass my exams. You can't blame the boys for this. Oh, that is such a relief. Yeah, you can't blame them just because you're as thick as someone from Wife Swap. <laughs> let's go, girls. There's Looney's on this. What did you say, Anderson? I said, let's go. Richard and Jude's on my house. Oh, they're Oh, okay, fun. Bye-bye, I'm going to get that book, Anderson, one of these days. She's too smart for her own good. Yeah, weak cow. I don't know why she's so bored about exams anyway. She's gonna, she's such a spot, she's bound to pass. We're all spots in that bunch. Oh, I've only done a million hours of studying this week. I'll never get the grades to be a brain surgeon now. <laughs> nice one, Pandora. Brain surgeon. Um, uh, Pandora. What? Are you worried about exams? What? What are you on about? Don't tell me you're turning into a spot now. No, no way, no way, Pandora. Just, well, I'm never passing exam my whole life and they start tomorrow. How am I meant to pass these ones? Who cares? Exams are for spots. I might not even sit mine. Cool! But how will you get a job? You get a life, eh? Jobs are for spots too. I've just thought of something. Two things, actually. One, Richard and Judy isn't on until, like, five. And two, those spots aren't going to Anderson's house. They're going to see the head teacher. We have to see him too. Oh, I'm going to kill her. Are you going to put her up in the door? Hell yeah. We should maybe warn that girl Pip that Pandora's after her. Come on. I don't know.
and the other over here. Right, we have not keep these on display. Ah, come on. Thanks for coming to see me, girls. I know that you're very busy and you're worried about your exams, but I've actually I'd like to ask you a wee favour. Uh, there is going to be a reporter from the local news programme coming in, a television reporter, coming into the school after the exams to interview pupils, ask them how they got on. I was hoping that three responsible young pupils like yourself might show them around. Awesome. Yeah. 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 Cool. Brilliant. Brilliant. Well, thank you very much. Sorry, mister, I have to go. I'm having a haircut. They're going to walk past here any second. I'll take care of Anderson, you keep her friends out of it. Gotcha. We need a distraction, and quick! Thanks then, girls. And don't worry about your exams. You'll find as long as you've done enough work, they're never as hard as you think. See you soon. Bye. Well, that wasn't bad then. Mm. At least all right once you get to know. It'd be quite interesting showing news readers and journalists around the school, don't you? Yeah, it would. Oi, goody two shoes. I'm sick of your smart arse comments. I'm a wag! I'm rugging a wag! Help! Help! I'm rugging a wag! What's going on out here? What's all this racket? She fell! You two, you stay exactly where you are. You two, I think we should go and get on with your exam revision. You two, come with me. Come and sit outside my office. Office before. We'll be fine. We we'll just take home. I'm sure we'll get through it all. Hopefully. Hey! You two are as crazy as a pair of Barbies in a thunderstorm. Did you do that for us? Yes, Pip. That Pandora says you stand by. We heard her. Mm -hmm. And did that occur to you that might not bother me? That maybe the relief of pounding Pandora Clark's face in? It was just what I needed? The thought did cross my mind. But what if you got expelled for fighting? At exam time. I suppose. Well, look, thanks. Oh, I have two magic guardian angels. <laughs> <laughs> How am I going to lift this down? Well, anyway, thanks again, midgets. And if you ever need my help, just call me. I'll go get my cape on. <laughs> right. Well done, Becky. You've got us into trouble again. Why do you have to be so nosy? I'm not nosy. I'm inquisitive. A detective needs an inquiry mind. Yeah, but the actress going to give us a row. And what if those weirdos say to bite our ass? Really scary, Becky. Leave the right door to me. I'm good at speaking to grown-ups. As for Pandora Clark and, their, and her goons, they barely know we exist. That sort hardly ever notice younger kids. And if they do turn nasty, we can always ask Pip to return that favour. She really wasn't scared, was she? Hmm. What have you got there? This? Origami. The ancient Japanese art of paper folding. Pip made it in the canteen and then left it. It's really good. She must do it a lot. Hmm. Whatever floats your boat, I guess. Give me a Nintendo DSi any, any time. I don't know, prick. How dare you phone my mum like that? Kill him! Right, girls, I'll speak to you now. Come on. Now then, girls, I don't know what you think was going on outside. Sorry. Hello, Mr. Grind speaking. Ah, yes, Angela. I've got the marking schemes right here. Secure record delivered them this morning. I'll, uh... Yes, yes, that's that's right, that's right. Um, yes, I'll make sure they're locked away in the safe before I leave tonight. Um, actually, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, Angela, I'd better go right now. I'll, uh, I've got some first years here. I'll phone you back later on. Okay, bye now. Now then, Becky Sharp, Esther Summerson, what was all that racket about? We were trying to stop a fight, sir. That Pandora said she was going to put our pips out. We heard her. Interesting. There was no time to notify a member of the staff. I shot you with my acting. You distracted her with what? My acting. I pretended to break my leg. So that's what all the noise was about. We didn't mean to be a nuisance. We just didn't want Pip to get hurt. 
Okay, girls, look, I'm, I'm willing to accept your version of events this time. But honestly, you mustn't get yourselves involved in arguments between senior pupils. One of you two could have got really seriously hurt. You understand? If anything like this happens, again, I want you to notify another member of staff immediately. Do you hear? Yes, sir. Good. Okay. Now, I want you to go and enjoy the rest of your lunchtime. And remember, keep your noses out of other people's business, please. Okay? Yes, sir. There you go, then. Someone ran out of Grumboard's office and pushed me. When I got back, when I got up and went into Grumboard's office to investigate, saw him lying on the hope floor with his head smashed in. I honestly thought he was dead. The person who shoved you, girl or boy? I honestly don't remember. Sit down a moment. Um, all right then. Now, the person who shoved you, girl or boy? I honestly can't remember. Uh, of course you do, that, Gary. The human brain is an amazing organ. You have 100 billion neurons up there, each with thousands of synapses. Everything that you hear, taste, smell, touch, and see is recorded. You just have to know how to retrieve it. She always liked this. Yep. Smart expression skill, that includes teachers. Answer all the questions, and she'll use her special approach to fry your brains. <laughs> you two are weird. Anyway. Think, Garrett, you're reaching for the paper airplane, you hear the door open, you hear footsteps, boys or girls? Boys, no, girls, no, boys, he heavy, heavy footsteps, but it was all too quick. Keep thinking, Garrett, you're reaching for the paper airplane, you hear the door open, you smell dusty carpet tiles, furniture polish, slight traces of body odour, you smell something new, what is it? Strawberries, I, I can smell strawberries, it was a girl. Are you sure? Yes, I remember now. I couldn't see her face, just a rough outline, and she was all in black, but it was definitely a girl. I better go and tell Vygotsky. Rough outline, and she was all... That's right, Angela. The police have just finished questioning Gary Caldwell. No, he didn't see anything. Head in the clouds, that one. I'm just about to show them out. Oh, well, apparently George is stable, but he didn't see anything. He's got no idea what happened. It looks like her attacker may have got clean away with it. What's over here? My goodness. Beth wouldn't do such a thing, would she? Hmm, that was well made. <coughs> yes, Angela. Um, I've just shown the police out. 
They were very interested in Grumbler. George. George's to-do list. Everything on it is checked apart from the last two items. Put exam papers in safe, give wine to Angela for raffle. He doesn't seem to have done either of those things, and I can't see the wine or the exam papers anywhere. It's, it's very mysterious. Ah, here's my organiser. Right, Angela, tell the Curse Committee I'll be right there. Close. So we're three people could be. What does he ask her? Becky, where are you? I'm gonna get in trouble for Skype in German. Oh. Okay. Well, if you're sure, I'll try. Okay. See you later then. Alright, sure stuff. Why did you have a class? Supposed to be meeting Becky. Are you not in the English exam? No, I'm in fiction. I'm doing advanced times. Brilliant. So you have no reason to steal higher exam papers? Of course not. What are you implying? Nothing. I need your help. Come with me, quick! What an idiot! Yeah, no, imagine wasting time during an exam. Not her, you. What the hell do you think you were thinking? Talking, even looking at someone who's three years older than you and is an insane psychopathic lunatic? Okay, I'm sorry, I just can't stop thinking about what happened. Mr. McGoxy said that exam papers were stolen from the mayor's office last night. The exam papers were sitting on his desk when I was there on the office yesterday. Who else could have seen them? I saw them. They were on his desk. He had wine as well. Then Grandpa took Pandora and Faith in. So they must have seen them too. Yeah, but Pandora and Faith don't care about exams, do they? You heard them yesterday. All the exams are for sports rubbish. Why would they steal exam papers? I bet they would steal the wine though. But I wouldn't have thought they would bash Grumbler Grind's head in. I wouldn't have thought anyone would have done that. No, you're right. It was a desperate act. Act of a cornered animal. We were looking at someone that desperately wanted to do those exam papers and really didn't want to be caught. You know, you're sound, starting to sound more like your little spot friend. Yeah, I guess I am. Oi, you! It was Pandora, wasn't it?
Oh, just come with me and then you'll see. Those got some papers. Mr. 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 How could you? you? I've always known it was you. Your breath always smells of strawberry liqueur. And the exam papers. You only did it so you could hide that it was actually you. Of course it was me, you meddling numbskulls. Who else but Mr. Vygotsky would come up with such an ingenious plan? With Grumbler grind out of the way, I would take over the school and return it to its former glories. Grumbler Grind didn't know how to run a school. Kids laughing, enjoying themselves. I didn't become a teacher to see kids having fun. But now, with Grumbler Grind and all your little friends out of the way, things are going to change around here. Well, well, the police are on their way right now, so you'll never get a chance. I would have got away with it too if I hadn't been for you pesky kids. Perhaps I can still get away with it. <laughs>